Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss about the small signal analysis. Okay. Here, the small signal analysis is in order to understand the how exact a BJT will be acting. Okay. So that means small signal name itself, we are applying small magnitude of signal small magnitude of input is applied to the BJT small magnitude of input okay this will be applied and it is how it will be acts how BJT will be acts we will discuss here 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 what is the use of the small signal analysis is first it is useful BJT used as it is useful in how BJT is used as a amplifier how it will be acts as a amplifier it will be analyzed here okay by the small signal analysis second by small signal analysis we can find different BJT parameters by using this analysis we can find the voltage gain what is voltage gain AV voltage gain means output voltage to input voltage the ratio of and input impedance input and output impedance what is input impedance input impedance is ZI and output impedance is Z0 so we can find out voltage gain input impedance and output impedance in small signal analysis input voltage of transistor is very small that is micro volts to millivolts here we have only micro volts to millivolts of voltage is applied less voltage it is very very low voltage and we will analyze the output here so here generally if you are looking at the small signal analysis generally any transistor in order to work as properly we have to give the biasing by applying that this DC supply we have to give the biasing is the first point and we have this is the AC supply and we will get the output also the AC supply we are giving the AC input and we will get the AC output and in order to isolate the DC supply is for biasing what is the use of the biasing by applying the biasing the BJT will be acts as very proper manner that means BJT will be acts as an amplifier in active region only by applying the proper biasing it has to be active in active region otherwise it is not possible that's fine we need to give the DC supply also so in order to isolate this input voltage and the amplifier uh, sorry this in this AC voltages and we have two supplies AC input and the DC voltage so maybe sometimes you will get some interaction between DC and AC supply in order to isolate this we are using the capacitors we are using the capacitor C1 and capacitor C2 this C1 comma C2 as coupling capacitors you can call it as coupling capacitors so these capacitors are useful to isolate these to isolate the input signal and the biasing input signal is the AC signal and biasing is the DC signal okay this is the usefulness this is the interesting things about the interesting things about the small signal analysis requirement of the small signal analysis so we will take one BJT configuration by applying the small signal analysis for this configuration then we will clearly understand what happened actually in small signal analysis so we will take a voltage divider bias configuration so look at here this is the voltage divide bias configuration so so already we discussed about this we have the voltage divider bias configuration in this capacitor emitter base this is the common emitter configuration in that we are giving in this R1 R2 are parallelly connected between 
between the base and the character and the emitter have a resistance re and we are giving the ac input this is the input and we will get the output here input and output here here we have three capacitors c1 c2 and c3 c1 c2 is are the coupling capacitors these are the coupling capacitor what is the application in order to isolate the dc and ac supplies what is the c3 c3 is the biasing c3 is the bypass capacitor c3 is the bypass capacitor yes so how the capacitors will be accessed we will look at here so we will understand here so for dc supply for dc supply the frequency will be zero then reactance by the capacitor xc equal to 1 by 2 phi fc then 1 by 0 then xc is become the infinite xc is become the infinite so capacitance doesn't allows the dc supply doesn't allow the capacitor allow dc supply so look at this diagram if you look at this diagram in this diagram we are putting a capacitor 1 here capacitor 2 here that means the dc supply only flowing through this this branch and uh, this branch only it does not entering into the input side it does not entering into the output side so for for ac supply it will have similar ac supply it doesn't have any problem it consisting of some frequency xc equal to 1 by 2 phi fc 1 by 2 phi fc that will that man that means it has some magnitude so it will be allowable it will be low resistance or allowable for the ac supply it is for the low resistance and also allowable okay for the ac supply so that is the importance of this capacitors yeah and we have the bypass capacitor assume here bypass capacitor so when you were bypass capacitor also it it blocks the dc and it will allow ac only it will allow the ac only right here this is the general general bjt configuration so in order to operate a bjt in a proper manner so this is the general configuration by using this we will give the input here and we will get the output from here this is the general configuration and here but small signal analysis so, so in order to apply this small signal analysis we have some steps are available to convert into small signal analysis this complete configuration will be converted into some steps steps are required for the small signal analysis first step consider all dc sources are zero so whenever in small signal analysis wherever we have the dc sources the dc sources must be zero that means we have the dc voltage source is there that must be short circuited and dc current source is there that must be open circuited this should be done second replace coupling and bypass capacitors by bypass capacitors with short circuit simply these capacitors must be the short circuited yes replace third point replace bjt with the small signal model we have the this bjt this bjt will be replaced by the small signal model this is the small signal model small signal model here look at here so in between base and emitter we have in between base and emitter some input voltage is applied between base and emitter assume that voltage is v5 take it as the v5 and there is a some resistance is there assume this is the r5 this is the input side of the input side of the bjt 
what about output side of bjt look at output side output side generally generally the input is for vbe and the output is the collector current or output current so for that purpose for the output side we are putting a current source that current source is ic it consisting of gm into v5 what is gm here the gm here transconductance transconductance means opposite of resistance that means 1 by r okay v5 is means depends on input voltage you know that the collector current depends on the input voltage only that's why gm into v5 okay right this is r naught what is the r naught here r naught is the output voltage output resistance here the r naught is the output resistance output resistance okay once again we will look at here so the bjt small signal model is like this between base that means we are replacing the this symbol with a circuit that means base and emitter will consisting of some resistance that is r5 the voltage applied between these is v5 v into 5 assume these are the assumed constants v5 and from the output assume that capacitor current will be entering generally capacitor current flowing like this so this is the dependent source it depends on gm as well as v5 gm is the transconductance of the circuit and we have the r not capacitor and emitter so not capacitors collector and emitter okay this is the small signal model that's why we have to convert the this structure into this model yes and first model is consider all the dc sources are zero here we have a dc source is there that's become zero so that that's will become zero we will manipulate into the zero and second d replace coupling and bypass capacitors with the short circuit so these all are will with the short circuits only so we will remove these all the capacitors right and third replace bjt with the small signal model so finally the small signal model so the diagram is like this so look at here we have the input voltage and c1 will be removed there is no c1 and look at the r1 r1 vcc will become zero r1 is connected to ground so that's why r1 is connected to ground and what about r2 r2 is also directly connected to ground so i will connect another branch with r2 r2 is also connected to ground and next the base terminal okay after that base emitter is there right here if you look at here capacitor is short circuited whenever the capacitor is short circuited automatically resistor will be the short circuited so re will be directly grounded and what about capacitor here here capacitor is connected to ground and it will be connected to output so i will connect rc as well as the output okay now this is the modified small signal analysis of bjt small signal conversion small whenever analyze the small signal it will be modified small signal modification that means whenever small signal is applied to that it will be valid okay right here now we are replacing this transistor with the small signal model here we have the small signal model is there just the replace with the same circuit that means supply r1 r2 and look at here the emitter is connected to directly ground so we will take it is as a ground we will take it is as a ground look at here so r1 is connected to ground means r1 is connected to emitter r2 is connected to ground means r2 is connected to emitter and v5 supply so input voltage inside between base and emitter we have v5 and r5 is there and next output side capacitor current will flowing we know that the collector current will flowing ic so this is the ic current the collector current is flowing from c to e so there is a c to e 
and we have a output resistance is the R0 and the corrector resistance is the uh, not corrector resistance yes corrector resistance is the RC and we will get the output here so this is the modified small signal analysis modified so we can name it as modified voltage uh, fix um, what what we can voltage divider bias configuration modified voltage divider bias configuration bias configuration for for small signal analysis for what for small signal analysis okay now we will find out some parameters here here first we will look at the voltage gain so here the voltage gain means the voltage gain is nothing but EAV that is output voltage by input voltage ratio so in order to find out this first we should find out the output voltage so to find out the output voltage what we need to do we need to take this output path so this is the output path so look at here we need to find out the output voltage what is the output voltage formula here here if you are applying the output voltage the output current is entering from the negative terminal both are connected in parallel so I can write two resistors are available here so I can write like this current is entering from the negative terminal that's why it is the IC and two resistors are connected in parallel R0 parallel RC R0 parallel RC okay yeah but what about IC but IC value you know that GM into phi so V0 equal to minus GM into V phi into R0 parallel RC parallel RC yes so what is V phi here you know that look at here this V input is parallel to R1 and R2 and V phi both are same here V input and V phi both are same so we can write V naught equal to minus GM into V input into R naught parallel RC all are same so now we can write V naught by VI equal to minus GM into R naught parallel RC this V naught by VI is nothing but voltage gain this represents the voltage gain so this is of the voltage gain of the given small signal analysis of the so we will find out the voltage gain of the PGT okay right so next what we need to find out input impedance so look at here which is input terminal this is the input terminal this is the input impedance so first better to write read rather input so if you read rather input to understand this input voltage V input and it will produce some input current which has a parallel resistance that is R1 and second resistor is R2 and third resistor we have the R5 we have three resistors okay so what we need to find out these these are generally connected in parallel this is generally connected in parallel so I can write like this in order to find out the input current how I can find out the input current so if I apply the nodal analysis what will told nodal analysis nothing but this is the V input only so 
current flowing in this branch vi by r1 next current flowing in this r2 is vi by again r2 current flowing in the this r5 resistance again vi by r5 yes so input current equal to if you common the input voltage the remaining 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 okay 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 right so so if you observe here this v input by i input we can write v input by i input we can write r1 is parallel to r2 is parallel to r3 these three are parallel so not r3 this is sorry r5 look at here third branch is the r5 small r5 three are connected in parallel so from this so this is about the vi by ii is nothing but zi zi means input impedance equal to input voltage by input current generally voltage by current is impedance but if we add the input all parameters will add the input okay right so we we can we can tell one modification that is if the r1 parallel to r2 is very much greater than the r5 for example if it is very much greater than the r5 then input impedance value will be equal to the small r5 input impedance will be equal to the small r5 it will only the this value okay now we can find out last parameter that is output impedance here the output impedance in order to apply this output impedance look at here this is the circuit this is the circuit so for this in order to apply the output impedance we need to apply the thevenin circuit so if we apply that r thevenin simply so if we apply the r thevenin to this all the sources will be zero that means it will be short circuited this will be short circuited this will be short circuited this will be short circuited it will be open circuited whatever the remaining terms these are only remaining so just write those remaining the remaining is r not r not is parallel to r not is parallel to rc look at it. r not is parallel to rc this will give the v not nothing but this will give the output not resistance this will be impedance this will give the output impedance okay so then therefore the output impedance is nothing but r not is parallel to rc this is the output impedance so these are the parameters we can find out by analyzing the by analyzing the small signal analysis so you can do for small signal analysis in the homework for the fixed bias configuration you did homework for the homework for small signal analysis for fixed bias configuration fix fixed bias configuration okay i hope all of you understand this session